All right, today we're gonna to talk about what I would have if I only had five pieces of equipment for my home gym, what I think the most essential pieces of equipment would be. I obviously am gonna start off with uh, barbell and weights. Obviously you can do a lot with that. Um, it's a little more expensive, a little pricier, right? You don't have to have uh, an Olympic lifting weight lifting bar that are, you know, two, $3,000. You could get the Rogue operator bar for I think 300 bucks, Rogue Ohio bar, I think they're like 300 bucks. Great bar, all around bar, that's all you're gonna need, right? And then when, you're, when it comes to weights, I would get, you know, their bumper plates, the, uh, the, the hand grenade plates or the echo plates, um, a little bit cheaper than the competition plates or the training plates, uh, but still do the trick, right? I'm gonna count that as one piece of equipment is a barbell and some weights. You know, if you're just starting out, a set of 45s, a set of 25s, a set of 10s. That's pretty much what I started out with. When I first, uh, the first barbell and plates I got, I ordered a barbell and I ordered uh, a set of 45s, a set of 25s, and a set of 10s, and it did the trick. It got most of everything that I needed down. And then you can go get some change plates, uh, you know, some fives and some 10s and some two and a halfs if you need to, just to get the job done off the bat. 45s, 25s, 10s. Number two, I would go with a yoke. A uh, yoke is a super versatile piece of equipment. It can be a squat rack, it can be a sled, it can be a bench press, it can be a pull-up bar, it can be a dip bar. You can pull it, you can walk it as a, actually as a yoke. You can walk it in a Zercher carry. Uh, it's so versatile, so huge. And another big thing is if you don't have a ton of room in your garage, you can actually break it down and it almost takes up no room whatsoever. So you can still park your car in there and then when you need to work out, back your car out, put it together. The assembly takes about two minutes, three minutes max. Um, with one person, with two people, it's gonna take about 10 seconds. So I think it's uh, obviously would be pretty high up on my list if I had a garage gym and only got to pick five equipment. So number two is a yoke. Number three, we're gonna go with a sandbag, right? A uh, 100 pound sandbag, 150 pound sandbag. If you're a big dude and you wanna party, 200 pound sandbag, right? It's up to you. If I had to pick one of the of the weights, I would probably pick the 150 personally. I think that you can still do a ton of stuff with that. Not only just sandbag cleans, you can do sandbag holds, you can do sandbag carries, you can do squats with it, you can do deadlifts with it. You can try to get it up over your head like a push press. Um, it's a, again, another pretty versatile piece of equipment that you can do a lot of things with. And again, same thing. Um, the bag isn't really that expensive, and then the sand is, you know, Home Depot, a 50 pound bag of sand is like three bucks. So I think it's a, a great tool to have. You can get a lot of work in with just that sandbag. So boom, number three, sandbag. You pick the weight, or you can get both, you know, 100 and 150 and a 200 pound, and still be pretty cheap. Number four, let's go with either an assault bike or an echo bike, one of those two. That would be my pick of the machines, you know, out of like the skier, the biker, the row, rower, or like a, a true form runner, right? I would probably pick uh, a bike, uh, echo bike, assault bike, one of those two, both great pieces of equipment. If I had to pick, I'd, I'd definitely pick an echo bike. Those things are sturdy and they're not gonna break down on you and you can, you can hammer them and you can do some, get, you know, aerobic and anaerobic on that thing. So it's huge. Uh, I think it's a great piece of tool and it's, my, it's literally my favorite piece of equipment in the gym because there is nowhere to hide on that thing. You cannot hide from the pain. All you can do is push back at it, like we said before. So, <laughs> salt bike, echo bike, one of those two. Again, uh, one of my top five pieces of equipment I would have. And then number five, good old dumbbells. Dumbbells, again, same thing, super versatile. You can do a ton of stuff with it. If I had to pick one weight, I would pick 55s. My go-to movement is a man maker or a devil press. Those things are nasty and you do not, you do not ha need a lot of time to get a awesome workout in with them. So uh, you can do dumbbell snatches, you can do uh, push presses, you can do floor presses, you can do deadlifts, you can do hang cleans, you can do snatches, you can do just about anything that you can think of with that dumbbell and get a phenomenal workout with it. And again, like I said, if I was gonna pick a one weight to have, I'd probably pick 55s. Uh, you know, bigger guy, maybe a little bit bigger, smaller guy, maybe a little bit smaller, it's up to you, um, but that's what I would do, so. So those are my top five pieces of equipment that I would have 
uh, if I had a home gym and only got to pick five things. So barbell and some plates, yoke, sandbag, echo bike ro or assault bike, one of those two, and a dump, a set of dumbbells. You can get an awesome workout with those five pieces of equipment. Basically do just about everything that you need to be able to get done. There it is, top five pieces of equipment. Pay the man.